Greetings, Vinyl Community members, and especially Diana. Diana of Digging in the Crate, she is having a thousand subscribers contest, and uh, boy, is that deserved. So here's a little introduction to Diana. Hey, Rizzi, Diana here. Happy holidays to you. Uh, I hope you have a really quiet and peaceful season with your loved ones. So since it's the last week of 2017, I thought it would be uh, fitting to do the top 10 of the year. Um, there are some albums in my list which I have already shown and for them I will not show any needle drops but link to the respective videos where I've shown them and talked about them in depth, but uh, there are a few ones which are new and which I haven't shown before. This one will come with me. Contest, contest, contest. There's lots of contests in the vinyl community. I haven't had my first contest yet, actually. But you know, when great minds think alike, you probably should enter their contest. Fun. Father John Misty, Pure Comedy, released over Bella Union. Singer-songwriter, um, in my review uh, with Needle Rocks with Jolin Kia, um, I've talked about that I think that this will be the most important album of the year, and uh, it actually ended up being one of the most played ones as well. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, in the years uh, to come, um, there will be no album that I will associate with 2017 as much as this because it has so much relevant content and lyrics um, and there's no other album which captures the mood and vibe of 2017 is perfect at this. Um, really political, really cynical and sarcastic. Yes, she had the recent Father John Misty album as her album of the year. I didn't list a number one album, I list the top three albums. I had that as my choice, easily one of the best albums of the year in my opinion. Yeah, great minds do think alike. Uh, are there any other reasons that you should be watching her channel? Like many of the vinyl community members, she has a very diverse taste. A lot of the music she shows is music I'm not familiar with, not in my favorite genres, but very interesting and it's great to learn about new music. Living in Germany, living in the EU, she has easy access to lots of music, lots of records that are a little bit more difficult to get here and we might not notice or think about, so that's one of the terrific aspects. Uh, pretty much every album I think she shows, she does a needle drop, several needle drops usually on the album, so you get a nice taste of what the album is like, and uh, that really adds to the enjoyment. She does coffee paintings, which are just fantastic. And one of the prizes she's offering, to, they're going to have three winners, with uh, two records and uh, she will do a coffee painting of the artist of your choice. Sorry I don't have a picture of any of these to show here but I can tell you uh, they are amazing and uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to get one of those. I will leave a link down below for her channel so if you're not already a subscriber check it out and subscribe you won't be disappointed very easy contest nothing tricky we don't have to do a lot of work to figure out what the records we want to show in the contest show three records you've been listening to that you like uh, pretty much anything you want so to start it off with I'm going to show this record Leon Redbone, Champagne Charlie, from 1978 on the Warner Brothers label. Not this specific record, but I bought this record when it came out in 1978. I'm a big fan of Leon Redbone. I've pretty much uh, had every record uh, nearly probably ever CD that he's ever done, and so 
this is one I picked up really great condition, really great sounding uh, recently, and uh, I just enjoyed it like almost it was the first time that I had heard it. And uh, not any particular song on here, but here's a little sample off of this album to give you a little taste of Leon Redbone. In the town of Louisville Lived a man they called Big Bad Bill I want to tell you He sure was tough He said and did strut that stuff He had folks scared to death When he walked by They held their breath He was a fighting man Sure enough now Bill took himself a while Guess he leads a different life Big Bad Bill is sweet William now Married life has changed him somehow One of my top three records of the year and what probably fits uh, her uh, contest requirements best of all, what record uh, maybe have you played the most this last year? This record's probably it. Lynn Stanley, The Moonlight Sessions, Volume 1, Double LP, 45 RPM. You've heard me all talk about that plenty, so how about a little sample? Maybe not anybody's favorite off of the album, but it has a great p recording of the piano part. three albums of the year. I listened to this all the way through again just today. Hadn't listened to it for a little while. Joe Bonamassa, live at Carnegie Hall, an acoustic evening. I'm going to close out my contest here with this and a video taken live at the Carnegie Hall concert. We think of Joe Bonamassa, the blues rock, uh, the electric guitar guy, uh, this record is a little different. Yes, it has that music on there, but there is a wide variety, wider than normal, and he has guest artists who don't usually travel with him and perform with him. Uh, does a little featured bit on it, and it just really adds to the music. And uh, of all the Joe Bonamassa records I have, which is quite a few, uh, this is probably one of my favorites, maybe the favorite. So here's a little bit of Joe live from Carnegie Hall. <laughs> So 
forward to 2018 being a great musical year and I'm looking forward to more of Diana digging in the crates videos this coming year and so I've got my address ready to give to you uh, I'm sure I'm going to win one of these and uh, I think the third price is the coffee painting and whether I get first second or third I'm just going to pick the coffee painting, and the records are just as good, but uh, those coffee paintings are fabulous, so check out her channel now.